So I'm going to start out and just basically, this will be buck sweep to start. So most of that will be out of an under center set. Before I start, just the other thing we do is, and I didn't diagram these for you, but our under center is, is generally a tight end and wing with a split end opposite. Now we do go unbalanced. So we have two sets of unbalanced plays. We'll take the tackle on the quick side and move him to the strong. So we have a two tackle set with the tight end to the two man side. The other thing we try to do is we'll just leave the tight end intact, bring the split end over and cover him up, which makes him ineligible. That's our other formations that we use in unbalanced. So what you're gonna see is us either unbalanced with the tight end intact, un, uh, ineligible obviously, or the tackle over, so I'll show you both. Or just tight end and wing, split end opposite. So those are the things you're gonna see. This is the, the, the first thing we'll talk about is just running the buck sweep, and, and it's against an even front here, and you can see this. Uh, we still try to block away from the play with our center against even. He gaps back. Uh, our front side tackle, which would be our strong tackle here, and I don't know if that's going to show up for you, but uh, it'd be the tackle of the wing side. He's going to be a gap blocker. And then we're going to get at what we call a Dave block, which is kind of a double team between the tight end and wing. And when we're running the buck sweep to the wing, we say we're going to Dave back with those two players. So against an even front, we're going to Dave to the backside backer. So it's basically a double team. So they're going to account for the seven technique, the defensive end, and to the backside backer. That's their accountability on the play. Now that can change up depending on blitzes and that, but, but really we see a pretty standard look from a lot of people that play us often, okay? Uh, we're in the tournament for five weeks this year. Uh, the first three teams we played out of Columbus, and we had not played them. We had, I take that back. We played one, one of those teams 20 years ago, so it was completely different. But... But uh, those teams we had not faced before. So when you go into those games, there's a lot of uncertainty about what you might see. So being able to uh, uh, come across to the kids what you're going to get is sometimes not possible. But uh, this is basically our, our look. The, the, the play's drawn with our guards, the front side guard getting a lot of depth and downhill. We've changed that. And, and basically we've changed it. I'm going through this because... The game has changed for us because people spill the ball on us. In other words, they wrong arm with that defensive end or that outside backer. We see so much of that. And so we have to spill the ball. And, and so our backside guard has to go around the front side, basically is what I'm saying. When we got that and we had depth in the front side guard, it was pretty tough for him to make that block. We had a lot of guys coming underneath and blowing up the play. So we changed his course. We've really shallowed it out. You'll see that. The other thing we do uh, with the backside tackle, which is the, the, the left tackle here, our quick tackle, he will sometimes just stay on that five technique because we do not motion when we run the buck sweep anymore. We don't motion on this play. Whether we run it to the quick side or strong side, there's no motion involved. And I've gone through a lot of this because those are just changes we've made, and you'll see it on film. So that'll give you some idea. We don't want him chasing down the play. But that gives you a base look of how we would obviously block it against an even front. And then our fullback is generally going to go through and block the backside backer and fake the trap. And that's what we're trying to get accomplished, okay? And then our split end is either going to block on or middle third. So let's move on and we'll start watching some of this, okay? Uh, this is an odd front and I'll go through this quickly. Uh, Against an odd front, our Dave would take place between the tackle and tight end. They would Dave to the mic or the backside backer if it was an odd stack. We started to see more odd stack. So that's what's drawn for you. So we would Dave to that mic backer or the backside backer. So that would be a look you'd get. Uh, the backside tackle still could block on or area inside. And our wing back then's home alone on that nine technique. The guy uh, just outside our tight end. But the guards' courses are the same. It doesn't change the tailback. And in this formation, we're end over. So this could be this could be what we would call Roger, or it could be what we call right if the tackle's over. And, and so that'll give you a quick look at an odd front there, okay? All right, we'll move on here and show 